Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 shortcuts. Now shortcuts in my opinion are one of the most underrated features of iOS. You can actually do a lot with shortcuts and basically they allow you to do stuff without having to install third party apps. You can do a lot with shortcuts. So in this video, I will show you guys some of those that I believe are very useful and you must have them on your iPhone running iOS 16. Before we get started, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with a fun one. It is called Shoot a GIF. You can shoot a GIF directly from the Shortcuts app. You can see just like this, you can shoot a GIF on your iPhone very easily. You just shoot four different photos. Once you're done with that, you tap once more, and it will basically create automatically a GIF for you just like that. Of course, you can use that to share it anywhere you want, maybe on social media on anywhere. You can share it from here, or you can just go ahead and save the GIF file into your photo library. Adjust Clipboard is up next. This shortcut will let you adjust anything that you have copied to your clipboard. Whether you have a link or maybe some text that you need to adjust before pasting it somewhere or sending it to someone, you can just run the shortcut and right here we'll see whatever you have on your clipboard. You can tap on done right there and you're good to go. Now that has been saved with the edits that you have done. Next up is YouTube Picture in Picture. It will let you play YouTube videos on the picture in picture mode from the YouTube app simply by going to the share sheet right here, go to more. And then you will find the button right here to run the shortcut. So here we have YouTube picture in picture. Now the way it works, it will go through Safari to do that, but it actually works. You tap play right here and there you go. You have the video now playing on the picture in picture mode without needing to install a third party app. The next shortcut for the video is called speed charging. It allows you to quickly charge your iPhone. Now the way it works is that it will turn off a lot of things that consume battery on your iPhone. That way, of course, your iPhone will charge faster. But I only recommend using this when you don't need to use your iPhone and you want to simply charge it as fast as possible because it will turn off a lot of things. If we go into the shortcut right here, you can see what it does. So all these things right here will be turned off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It turns on low power mode, appearance, dark mode on, reduce motion on, airplane mode on. It will set the volume. You can see 25% brightness to 10%. All these, of course, will be turned on and off in order to charge your iPhone faster. Control Center 5 is up next. Now this will let you change the settings of your device pretty easily and it's actually sometimes way more useful than the default control center that we have on iOS. Now I suggest you add this to your home screen so you just run the shortcut and you will have things here like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, which are actually very useful because with the control center on iOS, you don't turn them off, you just disable them. With this, I can simply tap right here and go ahead and turn it off completely. So now it's not disabled, it's actually turned off like it should be. And you will have other things here, like you have the airplane mode, focus, seller data, you have a QR code generator, so you can tap right here. You can enter any text or any link you want and generate a QR code for that, which is really, really cool. So you'll have a lot of options here with Control Center 5. Email myself is up next. This shortcut will let you send anything to your email really quickly. Now, of course, a lot of time people tend to send things to their emails to save them, like maybe links or anything else you want. With this shortcut, it's pretty easy to do so. All you have to do is get the shortcut. Once you run it for the first time, it will actually ask you to enter your email. And then, of course, it remembers it. So anytime you need to save something, send it to your email. Simply tap on the share sheet right there and you will have email myself, tap there and you're good to go. In a couple of seconds, you will have anything you want to send to your email. Charge time is probably one of my favorite shortcuts that I have on my device. It's pretty simple, yet it's very, very useful. Anytime you plug in your device to charge and you wanna know how much time it will take to charge, even without plugging it in, it will tell you how much time you need to charge your iPhone to 100%. So you can see right here it shows the current percentage. It will take one hour, eight minutes to charge to 100. Next up is battery cycle. Now with battery cycle, you can tell how many cycles of battery charging your iPhone has gone through. Now with iOS 16, that has changed a bit. So now you need to go to privacy right here 
and go to analytics and improvements analytics data and you will have analytics right here make sure you go to the last one tap on the share sheet and make sure you run right here battery cycle and just like that it will show you right here your iphone battery cycle count is 20 cycles right now so just like that you can run it and see how many cycles of battery your iphone has gone through the next one is photo converter how many times you needed to convert photos but you actually had to download an app for that from the app store well with the shortcut all you gotta do run the shortcut and pick the photos from your photo library once you have done that all you have to do now is choose the format in which you want to convert those and you're good to go you can go ahead and save them to your files or you can go right here and save them to your photo library as easy as that you have all the photos saved safari auto scroll is the next shortcut for this video it allows you to auto scroll a web page on safari without having to use your hand at all so you're reading something you don't want to scroll with your fingers or maybe you just want to leave your iphone laying down on the table so you don't have to actually touch it simply tap the share sheet and go right here to safari auto scroll pick how fast you want it to scroll so let's go with 10 right here click allow and just like that, it will start auto scrolling a web page without you having to touch the page at all. Add shadow to photo will add a blurred background to the subject of a photo. So, you know, with iOS 16, you can now detach the subject out of the photo. Well, this shortcut will add a blur in the background of that subject automatically. All you have to do is just run it and pick the photo you want to use. Once you have done that, you can choose here the amount of blur you want to use. So if I go with 100, you can see now the result. So what it does, you can see right here, it has detached the subject, but it has completely blurred the background right there. And it actually looks pretty cool. How many days until is a very useful shortcut. You run it and you can choose any date you want. And it will show you how many months, days, hours, and minutes until that date. Now you can enter the date on the shortcut just have the three dots right here and you can specify the date right here so choose any date you want and of course it will tell you how much is left until that date so that's it for this video guys these are some of the most useful shortcuts you can get right now for your ios 16 device hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one